I wanted to show two different powder dispensers. I've been using this leaf for a while. I like it. It's good. There's nothing wrong with it. But anytime I'm doing something that's semi-repetitive, I always want to see if I can maybe make it a little bit more efficient. And where this one kind of loses efficiency is the metering chamber. Every time that you want to change your load, you've got to recalibrate this meter chamber, which is, you know, not that big a deal. You, you know, discharge some loads, weigh them up, but you still have to fiddle with this a good amount. And it'd be nice if you could just set it and that would be good for that load in some way to, you know, quickly change it. So I recently had the opportunity to purchase this Hornady powder dispenser at what I would consider a bargain price. I guess I'm kind of a bargain shopper, but I found one that was discounted because the tube up here had a slight crack in it, which didn't affect the way the powder dispensed in any way. And I just put a piece of clear plastic tape around it so it wouldn't crack any further. So I got this thing at like half price. The reason I want to give this a try, and I think it's going to be a really good powder dispenser, is it comes with these changeable metering tubes. So if you put the arm about halfway here and depress this button, you can pull out this metering tube. And by simply rotating this screw in or out, it pushes this in, for, it increases or decreases the volume inside the chamber in there. So if you're doing a particular load, you can install that in there and have this set and then create a label for it and you can get repetitive loads with this particular uh, insert. And then if you're ready to go on to a different insert for a different load, you can just pop it out and replace it with another insert that may be calibrated, will, will be calibrated slightly different for that particular load. So in essence, I can go from one load to the next really quickly without having to, you know, constantly adjust this metering tube. But now where this one wins over this one is the powder dispenser part. So right now, the way this top cap is rotated, the powder's in the off position. So when I pull it out, no powder spills out. And then I can just take this and I can open up the top and just pour it into my container and that my powder's good. So I really like this one for that ability just to simply remove this. This one has a lock ring on the bottom. So every time you're gonna have to unscrew this ring and unscrew it all the way down, pull this out. And there's a cap on top of the plastic container that you're gonna have to take off. And then you're gonna have to pull out this whole entire insert and pour it in there. So not quite as convenient when you wanna discharge your powder and replace it with powder, which to me, that's not that big a deal. Setting up the actual um, amount of powder you wanna discharge is the, you know, the time consuming parts. So that's what I mean by a repetitive thing that you wanna to try to get a little bit more efficient at. So I like this with this one where I can simply have this one already preset, plug it in, and now I'm ready to go. It's not gonna take but just a little bit of tweaking and you're right there in the ball game instead of having to kind of fiddle with this thing that can be, you know, a little bit, a little bit more difficult to adjust. You can see we have that tear set to zero. Let's see what kind of charge we're dropping here. Forty one point two. Here's a close up of the inside of the powder reservoir. This is looking straight down through the top of the tube. And right now you can see there's at the bottom there looks like a little bit of an opening. That's the uh, metering chamber volume amount that it can hold. When I raise the handle up, you can see it start to rotate. And at the full um, raise of the handle at the top, now the powder would be discharged into whatever you're dropping it into. When I lower the handle back down, okay, the chambers dump the powder. Now it's ready to receive the next load. And right here is about the crunch point where you have to kind of, you know, put a little bit of force into it if there's any powder caught between the internal reservoir and what's left in the main area here as it kind of just crunches it as the cylinder rotates inside of there. I like to do this and just bump it a few times to make sure that all the powder is discharged. Drop it back down. Now you're ready. I'm going to decrease the volume just a little bit. Okay, we're at zero. Let's do this one more time. 
30.96, gonna go out about half a turn. Let's try it again. Not sure what happened on that one. Okay, that's right where I wanna be. 40.6, 40.8, right in that range. 